what else have the nation been talking about this week? Um, is it the uh, government releasing these UFO files or um, Operation Keep Everyone's Mind Off the Economy? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, we've been visited by 11,000 UFOs or something. Uh, only 5% are actually unidentified flying objects. The rest are like planes and stuff like that. And I think they can be sort of whittled down to 5% of people are mental. Yeah. <laughs> there was one bloke who spotted uh, a UFO land on a bypass in Somerset, right? It landed. Two figures got out in, dressed in black and one of them checked the engine. <laughs> <laughs> Who is flying at light speeds to get here? One of them's gone, oh, cam belt's gone. I mean, <laughs> People never spot these things in, like, London yeah. or Paris or anywhere where people are generally looking up at great things. Like, there's always, always someone looking up at the Eiffel Tower and there's yeah. never been a single thing. It's always like Norwich. <laughs> the only people they seem to target are people that are a bit weird with really shit camera equipment. <laughs> I've been abducted by aliens. Yeah. We all Loads have. of times. I had to take out a restraining order. <laughs> I put it up on my bedroom door. <laughs> I heard them come upstairs and go... Mm, like <laughs> <laughs> what happened when you were uh, abducted? They said, uh, do you know, where's Jimmy Carr live? We want to bring him home. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look and see if UFOs are one of the most talked about things this week. This week, the Ministry of Defence have released files about past UFO sightings. I didn't want to admit I'd seen a UFO in case I was branded a nutter, said one nutter. <laughs> OK, fingers on buzzers. What else have the nation been talking about? Sure. George Osborne has been... <laughs> he's got himself into trouble because when, uh, when Peter Mandelson was brought back into the government, he, he released some, some sort of comments that uh, Peter Mandelson made, private comments... He said he's dinner. been dripping poison, yeah. I believe, about uh, Gordon Brown. In response, Nat... Rothschild has said that uh, he was trying to solicit donations from a Russian billionaire. The richest man in Russia, which every Russian seems to be. <laughs> yeah. He said he, he, um, he met him twice and on, on, on this fella's yacht, and he, but he never asked him for money, he said, which I think is fair enough, isn't it? I mean, you've met somebody twice and you're on <laughs> their yacht. How do you even slip it like, oh, what's its top speed? Oh, brilliant. How many does it sleep like? <laughs> Can I have 50 grand? <laughs> like, where, where that in? I feel sorry for the Russian. He's a billionaire, he's got a beautiful yacht, moored in a beautiful harbour. He wakes up in the morning, tells his butler, he goes, well, what's on the itinerary today? He goes, well, we've got Peter Mandelson and George Osborne coming on board. Are you serious? I want supermodels. Yeah. Scarlett Johansson and some floss. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know what an oligarch was. I thought it was a sort of I sea didn't. cow. What is I it? I still don't. It's like the body of a lion with a horse's head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see if it's up there. <laughs>